Tyler Small, he had a fall today against Buffalo. Uh, slow start to the season, let's talk about that. Your first uh, week out, you're 0-3. You lose to Spisak and uh, Carter, and then against Ryder you lose too. So you start the season 0-3, you're a junior, you're one of the older guys on the team, one of the oldest guys in the starting lineup. Um, what, you know, what's the mindset when you start a season out 0-3? Um, bouncing back. I mean, I'm always not going to be my best, especially in the start of the season. Even as shows in my matches, my matches don't always start out the best ways, but coming back, I'm trying to just trying to work on my conditioning so that way I can fight back matches, fight the whole way through. Um, just fighting back and being in good shape, being able to take it to people. The Spizak match, he comes back and he headlocks you in the final seconds, like the last five seconds of the match to beat you. He's a Pennsylvania guy, you're a Pennsylvania guy, you know, scrappy junkyard dogs. When you know you look back at that match, what do you learn from a match like that where you're up early and you get beaten in the last second? Uh, don't stop attacking. Don't go defensively. Always stay on your offense. Uh, that's what I did. I, I played defense for the last two minutes, last period, and cost me. I had the same same outcome, what was it, two years ago in Hershey, I think? Uh, we wrestled in a duels. He won like the last five seconds or something crazy like that. But, I mean, it's a good match. I just think uh, my weight, getting my weight down, and as the season goes, it'll, it'll be really easy to get my weight under control. And uh, I'll be ready to go. A match today, you're losing, you know, and then you get uh, in a scramble on the mat, catch a cradle, lock it up, and you get the pin. You want to scramble against Spisak. You always seem to win a scramble. What do you got to do to stop being a guy who just wins scrambles to win matches and, and, and offensively attacks people to win matches? Um, I think a lot of that will come from practice. Just staying in good positions when you're up against those guys that are just hard-nosed, want to stay in your face. They don't want to scrap. They, they just want to be hard-nosed, a lot of hand fighting, a lot of stuff like that. Just staying in good positions, letting them maybe be the one to make the mistake, things like that. I mean, the scramble is good for me. It always keeps me in matches if I need something big maybe, but when, uh, when you're gonna go against those top top guys, you just wanna stay in good positions, don't make many mistakes, and uh, be, be a good hand fighter. You know, you have, uh, you've you been in the NCAA tournament two times now, and uh, you don't wanna just go for a third time here in your junior year. You wanna go and you want an All-American. What do you gotta do? You know, you keep talking about practice and getting better at practice, but what do you gotta do besides practice to become an All-American this year? For me, just working on the little things, I think. For me, specifically, I just need to get that one attack on my feet that I can go to. I mean, I have a couple shots here and there that are good for me, but I need two or three more shots that I can go to. So I'm not looking for one the whole time. So if I can just open myself up, um, get my weight under control like it has been the last couple weeks, I, I think stacking all those things on top of each other will put me at that level. You know, you don't talk a lot. You're not like the most verbal guy. Um, but you're, you're trying to lead through exa by example. You're one of the oldest guys on the team. I think you got one senior on your team. Yeah. Was it hard leading by example and not having to, you know, be the rah rah guy? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not one to speak up for the team really, but I try to lead more by example, like you say, just doing the right things, going to bed on time, eating the right things, drinking the right things, studying, doing those kind of things. Just acting as a role model more rather than speaking up. I mean, I think some of the young, younger guys can see the things that. I do, or some of the, even other guys do, like TJ, he's a good role model just from the things he does rather than his performance on the mat or something like that. So I think they look up and they can see the, the things that are right to do as in perspective of the older guys. The last time you wrestled in the MAC tournament it was six teams. This year you will wrestle in the MAC tournament, it will be nine teams. How much different is that going to be on your mindset? Um, I haven't really thought a whole lot about the MAC tournament yet. I'm trying to take one match at a time here. But, I mean, it's always going to be more competition. Three more teams, that means three more opponents. But I don't think I have too much of a factor. I mean, is that Old Dominion? Old Dominion, Northern Old... Iowa, and Missouri. Sorry. So there's three real tough teams. I mean, that will definitely play a factor with the opponents that are going to be there. But still prepare the same way. I'm taking a match at a time here. Are you got anything else for me? I think that's it. All right, hey, good job today. Way to catch the pin. Thank you.